Well, you might be hungry already and you know the drill. You're often so swamped at work that sometimes you skip taking a lunch break. So Lauren Casta, the Assistant Vice President and Division Director for Office Team is here joining us to talk about the importance of a break. We've had you on before, yes. Lauren. You talk about ways just to make sure that you are healthy with your you know, work-life balance. Absolutely. And this is something that you believe a lot of people need to focus on. Absolutely. So Office Team just uh, had a survey, and we surveyed American uh, workers across the country. And basically 56% uh, take 30 minutes or less, mm -hmm. which if you think about it, in the span of a day, you have eight, nine hours a day. 30 minutes to yourself really isn't a lot. Mm -hmm. So it's important to take that break and kind of recharge and re-energize yourself. So we in the news business are especially guilty of it because we have so much going on, so much on our plate, yeah. literally, <laughs> yeah. you know, that we're not able to actually get food on our plate right. and do that. And we're eating sandwiches in the car and just going around. Why is that a bad idea? Well, you don't ever get to dis disconnect. So mm -hmm. you're always in the middle of it and can't, you know, remove yourself. So it doesn't matter if you can't get a 30-minute break or an hour. Just take some time during the day, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, maybe go walk around the building. Just remove yourself from the phone, the computer, just to get that kind of feeling that you're, you know, separated a little bit. Yeah, this is especially relevant for people who have office jobs, but yes. it's across the board. Absolutely. You know, if you work in construction, if you work in housekeeping, whatever it is, you need to just get outside of your environment, yes. right? Yes, yeah. And a, an interesting part of the survey, too, is we asked people, okay, other than eating lunch, what do you do during your lunch break? And, of course, number one thing, what would you guess? Uh, Facebook, Facebook, Twitter, okay. Instagram. Social media. Yeah, yeah, social media was number one. Personal emails, phone calls were number two. Um, also important is errands. Even though errands might seem like something small, it allows you to get away from work yes. and, you know, kind of do something for yourself. And you know what? If you can do that during your lunch break, don't you feel just like so, like, I know. oh, man, yes, I got this done. Yeah, my personal favorite is actually working out or you can go read or whatever else. Yeah, I was going to say that. I is that something that's good? Because a lot of people, especially nowadays, do have the fortune of having employers yes. that have at least some sort of gym or workout activity right. available to them. So you could maybe eat at your desk yeah. during work time and then take, take your lunch 30 minutes, hour yeah. to get some exercise in. Yeah, it's great because it allows you to de-stress. Um, even if it's just 30 minutes of walking on a treadmill or doing an elliptical, it, you just feel like better and more energized when you get back to work. What about music? I am a big music guy. I always have Spotify on when I yes. get home. I really actually don't turn on the TV. I don't do much. I turn on music. That's then... great. I mean, music is very relaxing. Um, you know, it has a tendency to kind of, you know, let you kind of remove your mind from wherever it was before and just kind of put it in a different place. So anything that allows you to kind of separate yourself from work, whether it's music, working out, whatever, errands, it's important to do. So here's the big question. There's a lot of people that are going to be watching at home or from <laughs> yeah. work that are saying, my boss, my manager, right. frowns upon me taking a break. They want me to be productive. Right. They want us to push through. Uh, a lot of us are project-based to where we have to get stuff done by a certain time. Yes. How do you do that? How do you deal with that obstacle? Well, that's hard because, honestly, it filters down from management. So if you see a manager not taking a lunch or frowning upon it, it's, it's hard. Um, but, you know, and, and, the, and actually in the state of Florida, it's not required. You don't have to provide your employees lunch. But just talk with your manager. If you need some time to do something, just speak with them about it. And like I said, even if it's not a 30-minute or an hour lunch, just take some type of break. Mm -hmm. It'll feel better than no break at all where you feel burned out and you're tired and exhausted at the end of the day. Yeah, here's my suggestion. You go to your manager and you say, listen, I get hangry. <laughs> and if I'm hangry, you don't want to be around me. Same here. So feed me, right? Yeah, exactly. And people know that I get hangry. Like oh, when, yeah. when that time comes, you better feed me or and that's it's the other just not going to be fun. Yeah, and that's the other thing. If you're eating out of a vending machine or eating fast food all the time, that's not healthy for you either. Mm -hmm. So it's important just to take a couple minutes a day and just recharge. Yeah, hangry is hungry and angry, <laughs> just in case like you're not in on the the lingo. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much thank for you. coming on. We appreciate it. And Absolutely. I will see you at lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Quick lunch break for us. <laughs> Maybe an All hour right. or something like that. You're buying today. All right. I'll buy. <laughs>